M0FXB, welcome to my channel and if you find the contents helpful, please like and subscribe. M0FXB, just a quick overview on the FTM300D. Um, it's a VHF UHF radio with C4FM, has Bluetooth, GPS, APRS, group mode and is a, it will work with the HR200 box, is it? So just to show you now, it's in dual mode, A and B band. So there's B, A, and it, we could be into VFO or not. So VFO and memory. Has a short menu, which is press the F, and you get the short one with uh, memories, functions. There is a back button. You can see on here, you've got things like DTMF and squelch and TX power. APRS functions now. This is the quick function menu. You push the um, the, the the top right hand knob, which is also a channel change knob, and you can get Beacon TX for APRS, message list, station list, back, and then you've got FVS2. Let's push that. So you've got it looks like a recording functions. I haven't really properly gone into that. Go back. If you hold down the F, you get the full menu. So we start at the top, you've got display, TXRX, I'll show you an example of that. Go back, memory, memory list back, signaling, that's where you're going to get your things like your tone, frequency and things like that. I would guess that, yeah, squelch. Can't see tone stuff there, but we'll keep looking. Uh, scan functions. Group mode, settings, wires X settings. There you are, one to that. You can set a DGID for more private communication. Config. It's quite a long menu today, as you saw that there. Repeater shift there. There you go. Lots of settings in this menu. Data, I never used data. APRS, very long menu, and this radio works excellent in APRS, and it does everything that you would expect. SD card works well for cloning and for um, loading files and things and saving settings. Options, has a USB camera. They are quite expensive, but they're about £100 or more. Take color photographs. Bluetooth works okay, as good as most ham radios. You can reset it, you can clone it, and definitely to get this radio working, you do need to go to call sign here and get your call sign in, or nothing will work. Put your call sign, and then you've got another four digits with a, maybe five digits there. Back, back. The, the speaker on this radio is excellent. I'm not sure if I can uh, find any activity at the moment. We'll have a look. Uh, there you are. There's my all star node. On the B band, we've and it is a um, APRS does work on the B band on this radio. It will receive digital on the A and the B band. Now, if you hit the display button here, just once, it will do a scope. We just need some activity to properly show that. To be honest, so we'll leave it there. But also, so you basically get a scope, and at the same time, you're going to single receive. Hit hit DISP like so. Let's see if we can get the APRS menu. We'll just go into uh, the short menu. We'll go to APRS function and then we'll go to the station list. And then we'll select one of these and we'll show you what the APRS looks like when it comes through. So there you go, it looks like that. And you can sort of turn the channel knob to scroll, go back, back. And you can tell it to beacon TX as well, beacon on and a message list as well for APRS. You've got a band button here on the bottom right, just hit that, changes the band. Try and keep my hand out of the way. Obviously we're in, we're in memory mode, if we go to VFO mode. VFO. And it, yeah, the rate, it, it has got the voice unit in this. Now the voice unit is an additional unit, but the Bluetooth is standard. VFO. VFO. See that? 108 megs. VFO. 170, 399, 400, 850. So that's what it's got. And you can see it's got AM, so it will do it will do airband. Back into memory. Now squelch, you just push the squelch button and then you turn the 
the right hand knob here, which is, and then if you hit the squelch button again, it's back to volume. Look, ah, it goes back to channel changer. So what you do is, when you hit the, when you want to change the volume, you use the left knobs here, and A and B are are separately adjusted. Same goes for channel changing. Uh, that you have a knob for each one, which is quite nice to have the the, the knobs there. Now, if you want to go into Y is X mode. When you're connected to a repeater, just go to your pre-programmed repeater. So many channels on this. So I can't see that I've got one there. Let's see if I, that's a local repeat, couple of local repeaters there. So I do have a two meter 70 antenna on this. But anyway, if you were connected to a repeat, uh, your hotspot, can't seem to see it in there. What you would do, you're still gonna try and find it. It's got to be here somewhere. Right, well that, that is a hotspot there, we could try it. So let's hit um, the X button. Actually that, oh yeah, see the way it went into V at DN and then DN again, then it went VW, voice wide. Voice wide is, is that you have to select that in the settings first. Um, but anyway, let's go back to DN and let's hold down the X button. And it will try now to to connect in to uh, my hotspot. Now I'll just have a look if I can get it connected. Let's give it a go. And then we'll go like so. I'm just seeing if I can connect in. If it will let me know, it won't let me connect now, but that's okay. You hold down the X and then let's see if I got, give me a minute, see if I can get it working. All right, we've got that on our um, open spot three, which means we can cross mode. But I'll just show you the microphone and let you know that the microphone is excellent. Very good audio reports, really loud speaker on this radio, and everything can be programmed from the radio. You can even change rooms in wires X. It's probably the easiest way. And entering frequencies, it's best to use the microphone. I think it's the quickest way to do it. But anyway, let's try the wires X button using our open spot three. So we'll just hold it down. There you go, and you're in the wires X sort of menu. Now you can select search direct here. Oh, it's not touch screen, so you just push that button there. I always do that, I keep mixing up with the FT3. And oh yeah, it's asking me to sort of put in a search, so we just put in C, uh, let's just do CQ and see what it finds. And then you just hold down the channel button here, see if it finds a list. Yeah, no data on that. Probably too many uh, cues. Let's try it with just two cues. No, no data. So that's okay. Let's go back. But normally it will come up with a list. And then you can search. Let's try all. There you are, that's come up with quite a few. These are all in the open spot. It works slightly different. But look, you've got Hubnet there and other things. And each, when you get to the bottom, it scrolls. So, okay, let's go back out of that for now. And if you want to come out of the Wires X mode, just hit the X. Hold it, and you're back in normal mode there. A and B. So, I think I've shown everything I can think of. You've got an on off button here. The, the head unit, which is behind, I know it's a bit dark, but I'll just try and show you that. Here, there's the head unit, it's a bit dusty. And the head, the, the head does attach to the front of that unit. Uh, it's a nice compact size, very good quality radio. Uh, 25 and 50 watt apparently. So yeah, if you've got one and you've got any comments what you think about these radios, let me know. I think they're good. I think they're good value. And I think it matches the FT3 well. I'll just show you that. So there's your FT3. 
which I also recommend. I think for what they cost, I know they brought out the new FT5, but I think for what they, you know, for what they cost, I think they're uh, they're good radios, very good radios, and I I recommend them myself. Seven three, all the best. Please subscribe.